If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community, T1 Glister Elf here. I am running, once again, Vintage Blazing In Fact. I'm in the fourth season, uh, second for me, of the Untap Open League for Vintage. Get out of there. And this is my new list. It's only very slightly different as far as the main board is concerned from what I had been running previously. Uh, so yeah, Blighted Agent's still there. No Plague Stanger though. Still rocking the four Progenitus, the Blightsteel Colossus, as you do. And woo! <laughs> okay, so Fatal Push is in, and the card that went out is actually the Spell Pierce, which turns out to have been a bad medical because there are 15-ish Karn decks in this 32-person format. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of insane. Um, and let's see, other than that, I took out the two Plague Stingers and I put in two more Preordains. Um, if you haven't seen this deck before, I highly encourage you to check out the little card at the top. That'll give you a bit more. Uh, that'll give you a few more games to save this. Um, for the sideboard, uh, City in a Bottle is my favorite tech. It'll almost never come up because there are two dredge decks in this uh, 32. There's Graftdigger's Cage, there's Flusterstorm, Damping Sphere, which will come in in just a bit. There we go. Hercules Recall. My internet's being slow, I'm sorry. There's Null Rod. I'm gonna let these start loading. Here we go. Hercules Recall. You can pause if you need to, uh, to see what they do. Null Rod. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Energy Flux. And ravenous trap. So, I'm I'm feeling okay about this. I'm feeling okay. So, oh yeah, good luck. Good luck to you too. Uh, my opponent is on car shops. It says ravager shops. It's car shops because it's running four fleet wheel cruiser, which is what gave the deck its name. Uh, it's also running two Karn the Great Creator. So it has a Karn backup into, of course, as you always do. There it is, Mycosynth Lattice. Contagion Engine. That's fun. Proliferate with uh, artifacts. That's a lot of fun. So we're going to start off with... I don't have the uh, the kill yet, so we're going to probably do... Uh, I actually would like to get this out of the way early. We're going to go... Ooh, well... Yeah, it's fine. Ink Moth Nexus. Mox Emerald. Hello. We're going to pass the turn. So I'm going to give my opponent a turn to get off the ground. Uh, now, because I can go and get an Underground Sea, I'll be able to have the black mana for Fatal Push if they have a Walking Ballista. Oh, that's that's not great. Um, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. So I can kill the Walking Ballista preemptively so that the Ink Moth Nexus can definitely get through. You see, I almost have the combo in hand. Almost, we're almost there. I have Progenitus, and I have Ink Moth. Now I just need a Blazing Shell. Ooh, now that's fine. That name's a non-land. I'm going to say uh, it resolves. It resolves. What would you like to name? What would you like to name? Uh, Shoutouts to Coffee. Oh. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Um. Name a non-land card. Whoa, 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 whoa. Non-land. Non-land card, bud. Yeah, um, it's not like... It's not like a Pithing Needle or a Sorcerer Spy Glass where you can just name a card, and if it happens to be something with mana abilities, like a land, those abilities will still work. Mox Emerald. Okay, well, that's... That's a drag. It means I can't use the emerald here. Uh, and that sphere is not particularly helpful. Not particularly. So we're going to fetch. I am going to go to 19. And let's take a look, see what we have. Gee, I wonder. I think it's okay to aggressively get an underground sea here because, well, you see what I'm working with. Alright, so we're going to move this Mox Emerald all the way over here, <laughs> because it doesn't matter this game. All right. There we go. Um, hmm. 
and I guess we'll pass the turn. It's a little weird. I maybe shouldn't have done it that way. Um, yeah, we'll end the turn. Yeah, that, that, was, that was almost certainly wrong on my part. I should have held up the fetch. On the other hand, it's okay to aggressively ask them to use their wasteland now. Um, but if they're going to do that, they're still probably going to hit the Ink Moth. Ancient Tomb, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> no emeralds. No emerald. I'm sorry, that sounded rude. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. But uh, that is naming Mox Emerald. And we both have emeralds. <laughs> Bible thump. Oh, jeez. Bible thump, Bible thump. Bible thump, Bible thump, ooh, Bible, 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 Bible thump. Twitch emotes. For the win. Ooh. Man. Alright. Well, now what you gonna do? Oh, it's Sorcerer Spyglass. Okay. That's good. Um... thinking so there's a there's a problem here sorcerer spyglass does not have the same restriction look at the opponent's hand then choose any card name so they're about to make my ink moth nexus not able to attack here I can ancestral recall but you know what I can't do after that force of will this sphere is still going to hit me on that um, Hmm. That's not good. Okay. I think I'm going to have to say reveal all once. See what they would like to name. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, checking my phone, checking my phone, professionalism at work. Alright. Uh, they named Ink Moth Nexus, you know, as you do. Alright, take the two. Well, that's not particularly great. When they pass it off to my turn. Alright. So I'm going to pay the two. Draw one. Two, three. Hey, hey, hey. That's not bad. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I have some things I can do here, folks. I have some things I can do. And I believe that what I should do is go for Blighted Agent into next turn uh, Vampiric Tutor for 2 mana to put Blazing Shoal on top. Blazing Shoal Progenitus for 1 mana. So we have ourselves a win potentially. So we, we play the Misty of course. Gonna fetch. I'm going to go down to 16. I'm going to get a basic island here because there is some chance that my opponent is going to spend a turn wastelanding on the underground sea. Well, no, 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 I, I can't do that because I want to do this on upkeep. Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine. Sometimes it's okay to do that to threaten the opponent with... to, to bait them into doing an option that doesn't actually make them win the game. All right. Let's see what you got. Okay, well, no car in this game. Walking Bluster, though, I would be in trouble. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I can't beat a Walking Ballista for even one. Not even one. I'm gonna take two here. It's five mana, that's six mana. I say five, that's... Traxos! Ooh!
Big boy! <laughs> Alright, I'll take two. Alright, let's pass the turn, please. I'll say upkeep. Vampiric Tutor. Take two. Wait for it, uh, wait for it to finish. I mean, it's shops. What's the shops player gonna do? Find a card. Um, where'd you go? Aha! There you are. Now what do I do? Uh, put that on top of the deck. Alright. Now, this should work. <laughs> So we'll go to draw. Hey, there you are. All right, game two, we got there, we got there, okay. Game two. Sideboard. All right, Um. so since we're on the draw, Damping Sphere is not as good. Uh, unfortunately, which means I'm probably going to do Sorcerer's Spyglass in that slot. So let's put the ones we know are coming in. in. Uh, Energy Flux, Hercules Recall times 3, Null Rod, and I'm going to try Sorcerer's... well... Yeah, Sorcerer's Spyglass, that's fine. I can use it for Ballista anyway. Cards I'm taking out. The obvious outs are... Mental Misstep does basically nothing in the matchup. It hits Soul Ring and that's it, right? Just Soul Ring? Let's see. Right, there's no Mana Vault. There's a Mana Crypt, no Mana Vault. I mean, you know, that's that's not worth it. And then what else? Wow. So uh, my opponent finished doing their sideboarding. Maybe they didn't have a lot for me. And let's take a look while we're at it. So what are they going to bring in against me? Can't really do Null Rod in this matchup. Uh, Sorcerer Spyglass is coming in. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just the Spyglass. Uh, maybe, okay, they know the, the matchup. If they have enough dead cards, they can actually bring in Grafdigger's Cage for Tinker. Um, because that is a card. If they have enough dead cards, though, uh, for example, maybe Traxos is too slow, maybe? I don't know. That's interesting. Traxos is a, is a card I was not expecting. Alright, but I need to finish this up. So, cards to be looking out for. I, I would like to go down... Jeez, oh, get out of my way, dude. <laughs> Three Force of Will and a Gitaxian Probe. I'll keep one Force of Will in. I don't know that that's correct, but I think I would rather have a Force of Will on the draw than a Gitaxian Probe. You know, alternatively, I can take out some number of Preordain. This is a Chalice deck. This is a Chalice deck. Um, I can take out Preordains. Yeah, let's try that, actually. Put Force of Will back in. And this is going to be a, a little awkward, unfortunately. Um, so our outs are two mental missteps, preordain, 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 Gitaxian probe, leaving a preordain, but I keep all four force of wills in. Uh, there are some cards in this matchup that I absolutely do not care about. Arcbound Ravager, I don't care about. Phyrexian Revoker, I usually don't care about. Um, Fleet Wheel Cruiser, I can, I can beat that, and so on. Um, we're gonna try it this way, see if we can make it there. Because I'm bringing in so many hate cards, um, oh, they're keeping it seven. That's not great. Force of will to buy time for them to work. Oh. Well, we have the kill. We have the kill in hand. Uh, and we have force of will with backup. So this is a glorious... We have land, land, force of will backup, blazing shoal, progenitus, mana. We're in okay shape. It, it always feels a little weird having to force pitch time walk. But, you know, I might have to do that. We'll see what's coming down. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Whale. Whale. 
Oh, that's a soul ring? Okay, cool. Two mana floating. Oh dear, that didn't feel great. Just a weird swallow, that's all. Just felt... Ah, uh, whatever, it's fine. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, no response. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I'm the blue deck, so <laughs> we do have to go through the motions. Alright, what's well, four mana here that we're doing? Is that a Fleet Wheel Cruiser off the bat? Well, that is a Fleet Wheel Cruiser, alright. I'm gonna say... Sure. Have at it, Hoss. Have at it. Taken five. One, two, three, four, five. Four mana. It's car shops. Okay. Now, I believe that what I'm supposed to do is cycle the time walk to take an extra turn. But since I don't have a Mox Sapphire, I can't do the Ink Moth this turn. It's going to be uh, Fetch Land, Mox. So we're, we're going to do this now. We're going to go Fetch Land, Mox, Fetch, 14. A weakness to doing this, though, is that I give up the guaranteed blue card for Force of Will. Fine card. And admittedly, that stinks. That's not where you want to be. Um, I don't have any need for black mana yet, actually. So we're going to do Island. Play around that Wasteland. Just do what you got to do. Just play around Wasteland. Alright. Punish my opponent for not getting a Sphere effect out, I guess. Alright, so Time Walk. I'm sure that's going to be all right. That's a big oof. Yeah, that's a... Uh, it's... Just an explore. Just an explore, that's all. Should have capitalized that, but whatever. It's fine. All right. Well, um... Make me regret doing that, folks. Make me regret doing that. Uh, cause I did not get there. We're so close to just hard casting Force of Will. Next turn, we can just hard cast. Well, we can't attack in the same turn, though. Uh oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. But if it's a walking ballista, we're just straight up going to have to counter it. We'll have to get rid of the progenitus. Um, and just hope we draw another one. I will have chosen poorly. If it's something else, if it's a sphere, heck, if it's a trinisphere, we're fine. If it's a chalice, we're fine. If it's, um, yeah, basically walking ballista or bust. Uh, well, sorcerer spyglass too. That's right. We would have to counter a sorcerer spyglass. Um, lodestone, we can beat. Yeah, that it's you, buddy. You and Sorcerer Spyglass. Now, I think actually they might have kept the other Sorcerer Spyglass in the sideboard. And the reason is because they have a Karned the Great Creator. So this gives them a Sorcerer Spyglass that they can find anytime they get they stick a Karn. So that's okay. Take your time. In the meantime, uh, T1 Glistener Elf is sponsored by Coffee. Just generic um, now this one is, uh, well, let me take a sip. Uh, I forget the brand, but it's Sumatra. Uh, Starbucks, I want to say. Well, it's ground coffee. Nice. Oh, so how's your day, YouTube? Tell me in the comments how your day has been going. <laughs> Alright, workshop? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's this one? What's this? Oh, Revoker. Okay. Um. Okay. With the one still floating, I'm going to say no response. Jeez. Alright. 
Now, that's important because this gives them the two power to crew Fleet Wheel Cruiser grant again. Uh, Mox Ruby. Dope. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, what else you got? You still have one mana floating. Tolarian Academy, one, two, three, with one mana floating. Uh oh. Now we can start doing Karn shenanigans. That's not good. Six mana. It's one floating. It makes three. Soul Ring makes two. We have up to six mana. Which. If they have Karn the Great Creator in hand, oh my goodness, they can go Karn into Sorcerer's Spyglass. Um, Chalice for one. I'm going to say no response. I was not expecting that. What's this? Ravager? We win. We win. Good game. I'll play it out. <laughs> yep, crude. It has been crude. I was going to say GG, as in, like, I've got this, but A, that's rude, and B, it makes it seem like I'm conceding. So, let's not. So, take five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What's that? Oh, because we needed that, you know. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <sighs> you did what you could. Let's let me uh, reveal real quick. Reveal all once. Oh, is a fact. Okay. Okay, you played the best I think you could have. I think so. Walking Ballista. Sorcerer Spyglass. Or Bust. Yeah, um... Shops can be bad for me. But... Car... Slash Carn Shops? is less so. I don't know. GG's. Uh, has scooped and ended. Thanks for playing. I appreciate it. Has left the game. Ah, uh, right before I s Thanks for replaying. Thanks for role-playing. There we go. That's what I meant to say. So that happened. Um, that's... I hope that wasn't salt. I'm sorry. It's that's in that's what infect does. All right. So take care, magic community. I will see you later. Bye bye. We're off to a we're off to a decent start. One zero. Here we go.